processing are not interlinked. Before the block of raw material leaves the factory again as contour cut, mattress or as sheets, it travels a long way from the warehouse to the final cut. This process has so far always been time consuming and has required high levels of cost and staffing. Once an order is received it has to be processed in production planning. Checks are made to establish where the material is available and the foam is fed manually onto the block trimming machine. The block has to be carried to one or more machines for prefabrication, yet again manually. The appropriate program has to be loaded separately on each machine. The leftover section of block is taken back to the warehouse. Boimer regards manufacturing sequences as a single process and has created a link-up for the individual components. The new system goes by the name of POS, Production Order System. This innovative software controls the entire process, from recept of the order to the end product taking all production sequences. POS sorts all the jobs, creates order lists for individual machines and plans the blocks. First we will see a brief overview of foam production as a whole. The first hall houses the foaming plant with the Boimer cutting off machine. Then come the conditioning warehouse and block warehouse with an adjoining crane hall which leads through to the production area of downstream machines for various different cuts. Let's look at the manufacturing process from the very beginning. We start with the production of the foam in the foaming plant. This is where production of the continuous foam strand starts, based on a reaction between various chemical components. The ABLG1 cutting off machine, a fully automatic cross cutter, cuts the forwarded continuous foam strand into long blocks of 30 to 120 meters, depending on the length of the reaction warehouse. The blocks are then conveyed into the special reaction warehouse for conditioning. Foaming takes place at approximately 3 to 10 meters per minute. After each block is cut off, it's conveyed over the traveling ramp at a speed of 60 meters per minute. Depending on the local conditions on the customer's premises, various versions of internal or external ramps can be used. It's during this sensitive stage of foam production in which Boimer's decades of experience in the development engineering, manufacturing and installation of storage systems prove decisive. Boimer has continually developed its know-how further in order to be able to handle all types of foam. With everything from standard foam qualities to specialties, such as viscoelastic or HR foam. Whilst the long block is being placed on the block rack, all the block's data, for example quality, color, block dimensions and storage location, is stored with an ID in our POS software. This way stocks can be checked to determine whether the necessary foam is available for incoming orders or whether a new foaming job has to be commissioned. Once the conditioning process has been completed, the blocks are conveyed into the crane hall on a traveling ramp. The special crane systems and belt systems, which have been developed by Boimer for handling fully conditioned block foam, are computer controlled and work either fully automatically or can be operated manually. A special gripper system makes it possible to move the block problem free. Even the crane system is integrated into the POS system. The entire stock of blocks which is in the crane hall, including all the important block data and updated storage location information, is stored in the POS software. When a production job is selected, the POS determines whether the required block qualities are available and makes them available for the orders, taking them from the crane hall or, in the case of viscoelastic foam, straight from the conditioning warehouse. 
The crane places the respective block on the feed conveyor belt to the short block line or alternatively to the BSVEC longitudinal splitting machine. The BSVEC accurately splits foil or reel goods and winds them automatically onto a roll. The maximum block weight on the system for 100 meter blocks is 10 tons. The circular movement means long blocks with different dimensions and lengths of 30 to 120 meters can be split extremely economically into foils. At the control panel, the cutting strength, foil length and amount of rolls will be programmed before the fully automatic operation is started. A winding device is positioned behind the cutting aggregate in order to wind the foil goods into form rolls of up to 2 meters in diameter. The maximum cut speed on this system is 150 meters per minute. And now let's take a look at the neighboring hall, where you find the short block line controlled by the POS system. Allow us to quickly show you the benefits of the POS system for a typical manufacturing process. All the available block data, such as quality, block dimensions and so on, are stored in a table. All the data is held on a central system as soon as the job is created. The system automatically includes any leftover sections of block which can be used for the job. The BZMA cuts the block of raw material to the dimension as stipulated by the POS. This dimension, just like all the following processing steps, are already clearly assigned to the specific block and stored in a job database. The block is given a unique ID, which accompanies it throughout the entire production process. The shuttle automatically conveys individual short blocks. The target machines are controlled by the appropriate cutting job, as set out in the job list on the POS. The target machine takes on the block. The control station constantly monitors the position and processing status of all jobs. When using a line with horizontal cutting machine and vertical contour cutter, the generated data, including automatic interlacing, is loaded and started automatically by the machine. In the process, the required number of different sheet cuts is already taken into account. WinCap and POS combine to make it possible to use one single database. The optimum nesting layout is generated from the process data and is made available for the vertical contour cut in the next working step. The sheet stack resulting from the job is delivered to the OFSVT vertical contour cutting machine by means of the scissors lift. The cutting program is processed with a cutting speed of up to 120 meters per minute, which unsurpassed on the market and a high contour accuracy at the same time. Intermediate block storage stations absorb any overallocation from individual cutting lines. Blocks which are conveyed from the horizontal splitting machine into the store for leftover sections of block are given a new ID and can thus be included in material planning for new orders. Boimer Pulse gives you new options in automatic job processing. 
first, optimized material utilization in conjunction with leftover block management. Second, quick order entry and job processing. Third, constant feedback of the production status. Fourth, minimization of staffing levels. Boimer Pass, the innovative software solution.